Hello there, precious kids. It's me, Christine. Are you ready for a story? Today, we're going to read Big Kahuna by Jennifer Statler. It was Saturday. Fergus and his baby brother Dink were collecting treasures. The waves would roll in, leave something for their collection, and roll back out again. It worked nicely as long as Fergus didn't have to go in the water. He knew there was more than just treasure in that water. There was lurking, murky ickiness. So far, that day, Fergus and Dink had collected some seaweed, a pebble that looked like an eyeball, and a shell that might be an actual shark's tooth. And then, they waited 15 whole minutes, but nobody came to claim the surfboard. So they decided to make it the star of their collection. Of course, surfing on it was out of the question because of the lurking murky ickiness factor of the water. So they found other dryer use for it and they named it Dave. Dave was a loyal companion. After a while, Fergus offered to get some ice cream. Chunky chocolate Chattanooga Chucha Chip White Ink said Dink with his little thumb up. I think he likes chunky chunky chocolate Chattanooga Chucha Chip ice cream. Dink looked long and hard today. He seemed to have lost his shine. You missed the ocean, huh, big fella? Here should be wild and free. Here comes Fergus with the ice cream, but he sees Dink trying to drag Dave to the water. Dave! Fergus ran into the water and furiously swam out to save Dave. Don't worry, little buddy, he whispered. I've got you! No sooner had the words left, Fergus's mouth that he felt Dave rise up beneath him. Oh no! A wave came and carried Dave and Fergus toward the shore. Look how tightly Fergus is holding on to Dave. Oh good! They made it safe and sound. Fergus! said Dean. You surfed! I surfed! Fergus and Dink Keep their eyes filled for more treasures. And boy, they did find one. Even though Fergus was the good swimmer, he was afraid to go into the water. But when Dave needed rescuing, he forgot all about his fear and swam right out into the ocean to save him. I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time.